Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we'll be doing our in-depth review of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus after using for like 30 days. So Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus was launched early March 2022 and it's almost a month since we started using the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, the flagship S series from Samsung in India. There are three devices, S22 Ultra, S22 Plus and the S22 Base variant. Now we have the uh, middle variant, the S22 Plus with uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip and uh, you get uh, improved uh, display performance, great build quality. Then uh, you also get uh, improved battery life. So there are a lot of improved in terms of overall experience compared to the previous generation but how does it fare uh, when uh, it compares to the pricing and also the competition that's what we're going to talk about in this detailed review so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's dive deep into the Samsung Galaxy S22 plus in-depth review after 30 days so let's first have a look at the design and build quality. Now one of the important changes with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus is the build quality. So we'll come back to the build quality. Now in terms of design you can see that uh, it comes with a, a full HD AMOLED display and you can see the bezels are kept to minimal even the bottom bezels are very minimal. Uh, you can uh, see the punch hole selfie camera, it's a 10 megapixel selfie camera. Now the sides are given a slight curvature which feels uh, pretty good in hands and the back panel has this uh, triple camera setup. It's a made of glass finishing you have the LED flash, the Samsung logo and the triple camera slot. It is erased uh, platform. Now this has uh, given a premium material finishing. Uh, you get uh, the power and uh, volume rocker keys. Uh, the bottom section houses the USB type C port, uh, the SIM tray and the speakers. So overall it's kind of uh, very good in terms of design. It's pretty compact. It may not be as compact as the S22 series, but uh, S22 plus uh, gives a good feel altogether. It's not a very large device. To feel uncomfortable it's also less than 200 grams in weight and uh, less than 8 mm in thickness so it's pretty comfortable to hold and uh, even the weight distribution feels very solid now in terms of build quality that's where the change comes in uh, we get an armored aluminium frame which is very strong and uh, rugged and uh, samsung claims that it has drop protection as well now this is uh, protected by Corning gorilla glass victus plus on the back panel as well as on the front panel making it very sturdy in nature so overall the build quality is um, uh, changed uh, in leaps and bounds and it's one of the really premium looking devices and it holds uh, really well in terms of design and build quality. Next let's talk about the display. Again one of the major changes has to be the display. Now it comes uh, with uh, uh, a super AMOLED display. It's a 120Hz uh, dynamic AMOLED display uh, and uh, this comes with HDR10 plus support and the peak brightness of 1750 nits. So that's one of the important aspect. A very bright display and uh, even uh, uh, in 50% per of brightness it's really vivid and crisp and gives you great details and the refresh rate brings in uh, uh, the the much awaited smoothness it's very smooth uh, in terms of transitions and uh, the touch response also feels very smooth it's a dynamic AMOLED display and uh, overall quality of the display looks really good the outdoor visibility is also superb on this device now as i said before uh, this has really great peak brightness and hence uh, outdoor visibility is not an issue on this device and you also get Corning gorilla glass Vic test plus support so it's a bright and vivid display we have been uh, really loving the experience especially watching movies is a different experience on on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. So next let's talk about the software experience. So this device comes with one UI. Now this is one UI of 4.1 actually. So let's just take here. So one UI 4.1 and Android 12 is the version and uh, the security patch is right now at February 2022. And uh, uh, this uh, comes with uh, the latest Android version and you get a plethora of options to customize uh, be it uh, support for themes or you get additional options like uh, uh, you can see here uh, Samsung deck support is there, then uh, motion suggested one handed mode, uh, video call effect, uh, dual messenger support, floating notifications. So, a lot of features are there. And uh, the more important thing about uh, this uh, software is that Samsung is offering four years of uh, uh, Android updates and five years of security patches. That, so, that's one of the best aspects about the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. It gets uh, four years of updates. That's uh, one of the best in terms of Android experience as well. Now the software experience is really fluid and uh, you can see it's very uh, 
smooth in terms of experience and uh, does provide good uh, overall uh, performance aspect the memory management is good and uh, uh, addition of the qualcomm uh, snapdragon 8 gen 1 chip uh, instead of the exynos from the last years gives uh, added features and uh, the performance is uh, pretty good actually it's a solid performer and uh, gives you great experience as well even the gaming experience pretty good now day to day pe performance there is absolutely no lags or hiccups even the transitions are smooth uh, uh, the haptics is also pretty well done so overall we felt uh, the uh, this performance is definitely better than last year's uh, S21 plus so that's one of the good things about this device so software has improved and so is the performance now the call quality is really good on this device we did not see any sort of issues it comes with dual sim card support 8 gigabyte ram and 128 gigabyte storage or you also get 256 gigabyte storage now it is ufs 3.1 storage support and lpddr5 ram and uh, overall experience feels very solid on this device and you also get ip68 water and dust resistance capabilities a feature which is uh, much needed for a flagship device and samsung galaxy s22 plus also features that now uh, talking about the other aspect uh, you get uh, uh, the uh, in display fingerprint scanner and you can see it's very fast in unlocking so we'll just uh, show you once again now uh, it's very fast and even the face unlock feels very smooth as well now you get 5g support uh, then 4g lte voice over wi-fi uh, uh, carrier aggregation everything is supported and um, uh, overall call quality also looks uh, pretty good on this device now in terms of software couple of things which i missed actually is that uh, it does come with uh, the knock security samsung's uh, application like secure folder samsung pay is included so plethora of other options are also included with this device so in terms of performance it's one of the really good aspects about the samsung galaxy s22 plus now talking about the speaker performance so it comes with the dual stereo speakers and it's very loud and crisp sound and especially for watching movies along with this uh, bright display uh, it feels very solid actually so that's one of the good things about the speaker performance so next let's move on to the camera so you get a primary 50 megapixel uh, camera it's a f 1.8 aperture 12 megapixel ultra wide and uh, 10 megapixel telephoto lens and you get a 10 megapixel selfie camera as well so let's dive deep into the camera samples uh, straight away so looking at the camera samples the daylight captures have come really good great detailing great sharpness levels a uh, good dynamic range and uh, the color reproduction is also pretty good so overall uh, in terms of daylight condition it produces great images and uh, it is more or less consistent in terms of color reproduction and looks really premium as well in terms of uh, camera experience now the ultra wide angle camera also produces great images uh, the quality definitely looks good there is also telephoto lens you can uh, uh, do uh, zoom here you can go up to 3x uh, optical zoom and up to 30x digital zoom is supported so uh, the telephoto lens also provides good experience overall now uh, the device can do really great uh, captures in terms of uh, close-up shots the portraits looks good the low light experience has been drastically improved uh, samsung calls this nightography so samsung has improved the night photography by a great margin and it's more or less evident in terms of camera experience and the video recording you can go up to 8k recording the video recording is smooth the optical image stabilization works pretty well so uh, overall in terms of camera experience we are quite satisfied with what the samsung galaxy s22 plus offers in terms of camera experience even the selfie camera also looks great now moving on to the battery now we get a 4500 mAh capacity battery and this supports up to 45 watt charging with the new 45 watt charger now uh, uh, otherwise you can go with uh, the 25 watt charger now uh, what we felt was the 25 watt and 45 watt there is a drastic difference actually it's more or less similar uh, that's one of the probably one of the downside the fast charging technology is in that fast uh, probably samsung is in going with uh, uh, very high fast charging uh, to keep the battery optimal so 45 watt is what it offers you can get a 45 watt charger but uh, it also supports 25 watt charging and you also get uh, 15 watt wireless charging there is also reverse wireless charging option available so these are some really good options and the battery performance is drastically improved we got like peak uh, of seven to eight hours screen on time that's a peak we got but you can get like a six to six and a half hours on an average which is really good for a flagship device which is powered by the qualcomm snapdragon 8 gen 1 chip so that's one of the good things battery is definitely improved considering how the samsung galaxy s21 plus performed now with the uh, snapdragon chip the battery performance has definitely improved and also the one ui optimization brings in better battery life too so that was a detailed review so let's talk about the pros and cons the pros include great build quality the armor aluminium frame and the Corning gorilla glass victus plus support 
then a bright and vivid display one of the best displays in this price segment great uh, sharpness levels and uh, great color reproduction as well then the software experience is good uh, samsung is offering four years of software updates and five years of patches the performance is overall good battery life has improved and uh, uh, then cameras are also pretty good so it's a solid package overall now what are the cons probably there is no 3.5 mm audio jack but then that's not a major con because most of the devices in the flagship category uh, are skipping for the uh, 3.5 mm audio jack and then the other con probably would be that uh, 45 watt charging is in that fast uh, compared to the 25 watt charger so samsung should be upping up uh, the uh, the fast charging technology probably in the next iteration but we are not sure whether samsung is going in that direction but overall uh, we feel the fast charging is in that impressive on this device but otherwise it's a solid package with the samsung galaxy s22 plus now in india it's priced 84 triple nine uh, it's a premium device and uh, you get really good value for what you uh, spend on the samsung galaxy s22 plus uh, the display the speakers the cameras everything is uh, top solid and uh, offers a great uh, package with the s22 plus so that is our uh, detailed experience uh, of the samsung galaxy s22 plus after almost one month of usage so hope this video was useful do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day